So I've mixed the highs and the lows here, definitely for sure, but quality is still intact and remains quite high. Cardigan is such a lovely quality that really it holds its own. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a newbie, then hello, welcome. My name is Raquel, and if you're a subby, thank you for returning. I really appreciate your support. Today we have a Marge Paris haul. I absolutely love Marge, Bash, Sandro. I love all of these brands. If you guys want to check out some previous hauls, I'm definitely going to link them in the cards throughout the video because um, I've done a couple of yeah, I think I've done a couple of Marge hauls at this point and I just really like to dive in and share these pieces with you. Now Marge, quick disclaimer, is definitely a higher price point. So for me personally, I will only shop if there's a discount or if there's a sale going on. So all of these pieces I picked up in the sale. Because they are a higher price point, I'm definitely going to be sharing my tips and tricks with regards to how I would style these pieces. Now, if you guys aren't subscribed, please do go ahead, hit the subscribe button. But more importantly than that, could you please give the video a thumbs up because that really, really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get straight into outfit number one. So outfit number one is actually part of a co-ord, so I'll be sharing you guys how I wear it as a co-ord, how I would style it as individual pieces. So it's actually this jacquard monogram skirt and then there's also the jacquard monogram cardigan now the skirt i believe it was 50 percent off so it's 99 pounds 50. i'm actually wearing it in a 36 so you can change it on the website to say hold on yeah you can change it on the website to say french sizing or european sizing so i believe a 36 is a UK eight. Anyway, point is, it's part of a co-ord. I think this is such a cute set. Now it's gonna look great as a set, but it's also gonna look good as individual pieces. So to style it as an individual piece, just the skirt, I've gone ahead and I've thrown on a 99 pound skirt, which is worth 200 by the way. Quality feels 10 out of 10. I've paired it with a cheap Zara top, which is I think 7.99 or something like that. Like a really good solid basic. Now this is the, they have two in Zara, right? So they have the cheaper one, which is 2.99. I had that on at first, it was like, mm, too much of a, <laughs> of a difference, right? Too much of a gap. So I went for this one, which is just a little bit more of a nicer fit. And then I've gone ahead and paired it with a pair of white trainers, which you guys will see in the length ways cut away. Now in terms of accessories, I'd go ahead and I'd pair it with probably just my multi pochette, just because I have a lot of black bags and I know a lot of people don't like to mix black with navy, which I don't really mind personally, but you know what? I actually quite like the whole khaki vibe. Now this, I guess, is a not super, super summery, right? It's a little bit darker. So if you wanted to switch it out and switch it out for a more fun bag, you definitely could do that. Um, what other bags could I do? Maybe do something like this. Actually, that's too printy, printy, hold on. You could probably switch out for a bag like this just to inject a little bit of color into it because obviously I'm wearing the white trainers too. But this is how I would wear this co if I was wearing just the skirt by itself. I'm gonna show you how I would style up just the cardigan. So here's the matching cardigan. At the moment, it's £129.50. I'm pretty sure that they've already done the second markdown. So I think you get further discount at the moment. So yeah, I think this is at 50% off £129. What I would do is I'd style it with a pair of jeans and then I'd probably keep on the same trainers. These white trainers, I'm gonna have them linked in the description box for you. I'll link everything that I'm sharing with you. But again, I'd go for a really casual look with the cardigan just because I'll show you how I pair them together um, in a moment. But I think as separates, you can do a really nice kind of casual casual vibe if you want to. Now this is a cropped kind of cardigan. The quality of this just feels so, so lovely. Um, I've kept on the same white crop top underneath, but I mean, depending on whether you were planning on wearing it open or closed, you could maybe go without. Me, because I've got the the white trainer still on, I've gone ahead and I've kept on the white vest top underneath just in case you wanted to kind of open it. The buttons are really nice. They feel really good, really sturdy. They're this really lovely gold color. They don't feel like cheap and plastic whatsoever. Um, and again, my jeans, I'm gonna link them down for you in the description box. These ones are ripped jeans, but you don't have to go for like a ripped jeans vibe. You can totally go for um, like everyone's into the low rides at the moment, <laughs> not me personally, um, but you can go for more higher waisted ones which don't have a rip in it, totally down to your preference. But this is how I would pair the cardigan. I mean, the cardigan is such a lovely quality that really it holds its own. Again, with accessories, I could probably just stick to the pochette. The great thing about the pochette is that you can break it up and make it just the mini one or you can wear just the larger one. Um, but I'd probably just wear it like this because I really love the casual feel of the multi pochette when they're all together and they've got the 
big khaki strap. I'm actually thinking about maybe buying a different bandolier to give it a little bit more kind of variety, but them bandoliers are sure <laughs> expensive. So probably won't for now. But yeah, this is how I would wear this, like um, this cardigan. This is how I would style it. I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I'd style the two pieces together now. Here is how I would style this outfit as a outfit or as an outfit rather, with both of the co pieces worn together as a co -ord. As I was saying earlier, I know a lot of people don't like to mix navy and black. I personally quite like it. So actually here I've gone for a little bit more of an autumnal feel and I've gone for the black boots as well as the black bag. This I got from Bista ages ago i have a video on the channel i'll link it above here actually because this was a absolute steal and i wear this bag so 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 often and um, but of course it doesn't have to be a prada bag it can be any black bag sorry there's a hair like right in the middle <laughs> but yeah of course it doesn't have to be a prada bag it can be any black any black bag you guys know i've got a mini mango one which i absolutely rinse equally and then these boots are from zara i got them in the sale ages and ages ago they're real leather i managed to get them for an absolute steal at around 30 quid so i've mixed the highs and the lows here definitely for sure but quality is still intact and remains quite high what i will say about something like this is if i'm going to spend this kind of money i want to make sure i get my cost per wear and i want to make sure i get my cost per wear throughout season so how i styled it as individuals very very summery um definitely i'd say the skirt and the crop top is definitely summery the cardigan and the jeans is a little bit more spring and then paired together as a co-ord it's definitely more autumnal and i love the fact that i'll be able to get use out of these throughout the seasons if i just switch the knee high for over the knee then it could possibly even go into winter just because these are quite a good thick material also worth mentioning that marge definitely concentrates on sustainability a little bit more than some of the other brands it's worth um, sort of noting that but yeah this is the first outfit or the first outfit worn three ways I feel like I've really taken my time with this but the pieces are just so lovely they speak for themselves I don't know if I mentioned I actually went without the vest top underneath just because I didn't want it peeking through but um, if you didn't want to do that and you still wanted to wear something underneath you could just wear um, a plain vest top which just doesn't come up super high but listen 10 out of 10 for me I'm gonna move into oh okay I'm gonna move into something else which is kind of autumnal again I might just keep the same boots, don't judge me. <laughs> Let me throw on this next piece. Next up, we have this contrast knit dress with horse bit. So this is full size or full price rather, 279. There's 40% off. So I was really trying to make sure that all of the pieces were at least 50% off. So 40% off making it 167 and 40 pence. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I got it in a UK eight. It's very, very, very cute. Okay. Quickly gonna talk you guys through the styling. So I've kept on the same boots because I just had them on. This is one thing that I would wear definitely in the autumn months. I know we're in summer now, but like I was saying, these pieces, higher price point, need my cosplay wear, need to be able to wear them throughout seasons, throughout the year. So if I was doing up autumn, that in, in fact, there's some questionable summer days right now, which are a little cold. Um, so yeah, I would, if I was wearing it for like the autumn season, this is 100% how I would style it. I'd keep on the boots. Depending on my mood, maybe I'd go for the over knee or the under knee black boots, just depending. I'd go ahead and throw on this uh, Prada bag. I absolutely love this bag. It's rattling because this is my current bag and there's like stuff in it. So I'd wear this bag with it. However, I do quickly want to style this up if I wasn't going to be wearing it for autumn and if I was going to be wearing it throughout sort of spring and summer. With that being said, it is a knit dress, so it's definitely a lot thicker and a lot warmer. I'm going to come up close so you guys can see the detailing on it. I just think... The fit of it is sublime. So many people do these kind of dresses. They give me sort of like Hilary Banks, clueless vibes, but I just, I need a piece that's just gonna look, just set it off, right? So this, I mean, with the white collar, the white piping, the horse bit, 10 out of 10. I think I'm gonna style this with, I'm gonna take the boots off. I'm gonna quickly throw on something else just to quickly show you a different vibe, yeah? I'll be two sex obviously so in keeping with the horse bit theme i've gone ahead and paired this with my backless loafers now these are a great dupe for the gucci ones i got them from june they're such a great price they're really really comfortable i think a couple of times when i first wore them they were a little mm, but actually they wore in quite nicely so that actually goes really really well and hand in hand with the horse bit that's on the dress and then i switched up the bag i've gone for a more affordable bag which is my h&m one which i absolutely love i have it in this size which is the mini size and then i also have it in the larger tote bag size and so this is one way or another way rather that i would style this dress definitely a little bit more spring um, and a little bit more summer and this is a kind of vibe that you 
could get away with wearing in the office. Now, if you wanted to make this super casual, I'm gonna quickly style it up in a super casual way too. Again, a very versatile piece. So let me quickly throw on the third little option. So the third way that I paired this would be a super casual way. Again, I've thrown on those same white trainers. I've gone ahead and changed out the bag for a rucksack. I got this again in Bista. Bista Prada, Oi, let me not drop it. Um, anyway, Bista Prada, sometimes you go in there and you find a really good little deal. So I've paired it with this backpack. It just makes it a super casual look um, and it's a little bit different to the other bag. The other bag's a little bit more sleek, a little bit more sort of, um, put together right this is a little bit more casual you've got your little trainers on of course they don't have to be white trainers they can be whichever trainers you want to wear whichever ones you feel most comfortable in but this would be the way that I'd style it if I was doing a super casual look obviously the white and the cream is kind of it's giving off some kind of vibe so <laughs> it depends whether you like the white and the cream personally I don't really mind it and these trainers are kind of looking like they're gonna turn cream soon because <laughs> they're gonna get dirty so yeah they're already a little bit kind of yellowy but anyway this is how I would style this if I was gonna wear it in a super casual way so that's one dress three ways we have the co-ward three ways I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the last piece three ways but let me throw it on and then we'll talk also, before I do throw on the last piece, I do quickly want to mention that this actually only buttons to this, only unbuttons to this button here, and the rest of it is just like they're sewn on. So you're not going to get the gapping business, which honestly is such a pain, which I think is a really nice touch because it just means that you're going to sit down, it's not going to gap, it's not going to open, it's not going to show out your whole thing. So yeah, worth noting. Anyway, last piece. My final piece is this short jacquard skirt with fringing. It was 40% off, so. £229 at full price, 40% off means it's come down to 137 and 40 pence. I actually sized up and I got this in a 38 because it is super, super short. But one thing to note is that they do have shorts underneath it, which I thought was quite handy. But it's definitely really, really mini in length. I'm actually just going to style this up one quick way for you guys. I've gone ahead and I've paired it with my Chloe sandals, which I'll a course link in the description box for you guys. And then this bag, which is new to my collection, it's from Mango. It's really... Like, I just feel like it's going to be one of those pieces that I really, really reach for. I think it goes with the vibe of the skirt, right? The vibe is giving off IB for it's giving off, like, rich vibes, right? Well, it's certainly <laughs> quite an expensive piece. But, do you know, to be fair, this is one that I don't know because it is so short, but it is really cute. It's a really cute piece. The thing is, yeah, it's not short to where it looks scatty. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not super tight. It's not a bodycon short. Like, if this was a bodycon material and it was short like this, I'd be like, mm. but it's got the fringing. It's got the nice kind of detailing on it. So I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. This is what it looks like from the back, by the way. Obviously, my bum is making it ride up a little bit more. What do we think? I mean, I'm feeling quite secure in it just because, as I said, there are shorts underneath it. I did size up as well. It's just elasticated at the top for you to get in and out. There's no zip. So what do we think? This is how I would style it, though, with this brown bag. I think I'm obsessed with this brown bag at the moment just because this kind of extra raffia detail kind of goes nicely with the fringed hem. What do we think? Oh, by the way, this top is from H&M, in case I forgot. I probably forgot to mention. I'll move my hair out of the way. It's just this V-neck top from ages ago from H&M. I don't know if I got it in the black. I don't think I did. I think I wanted to get it in the black, but I could never get my hands on it. But this was really, really cheap. It went in the sale, and it's just the cutest little shirt ever from H&M. So if I can find something similar, I'll link it in the description box, because this is pretty old now. But, um... Yeah, this one, I think out of all the pieces in the haul, I'd be most sort of on the fence about just because cost per wear is not as prevalent in this as it is in the other pieces, but it's still a really lovely, like, lovely piece nonetheless. So yeah, this is my final outfit. So that completes this Marge Paris haul. Comment below and let me know what your favorite pieces were. Let me know if you guys want to continue to see Marge Paris hauls. Like I said, quick disclaimer, it is definitely a different price point compared to like your Sheehan's, your Primark's and that sort of thing. Um, but they do have a little bit more of a viewpoint when it comes to sustainability. And I do feel like the quality is really lovely. Like the pieces that I've kept from previous Marge hauls, they've really stood the test of time. They're just like classic, classic pieces. So every so often, I do still wanna do these hauls just to show you guys some really classic pieces which you can put into your wardrobe. I really wanna get into the styling with them just to show you, you know, a little bit more in depth. So if you like this kind of style, please comment and let me know. And please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you guys wanna keep up with me on IG, it's Raquel.Saul, I'll pop it on the screen. Come say hi, I'm definitely very active over there. Posting pretty much every day over on IG, so definitely come over and say hello. But for now, thank you guys so much. Don't forget about the thumbs ups. Share this video if you found it helpful, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.
Bye.